Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm really annoyed at myself because I've already filmed this video. I filmed it with my friend Sean the other week and the footage has just disappeared. I must have accidentally deleted it and I'm so annoyed at myself. But I still wanted to put this video up so I'm refilming it in the morning just before work because I have no other time this week. It's the Olivier's next week and I wanted to share with you uh, who I think will win in most of the categories. There are a few categories I'm going to miss off um, and I'll explain that during the video. But yeah, I've got about 20 minutes to film so I want to get this done. <laughs> so for the first category we have best actor in a supporting role in a musical. Personally I've only seen two of these shows and out of those two um, my preferred show was definitely The Girls so I think I'm gonna have to go with Ben Hunter. Um, I think the kids in this show and The Girls were really really good actually. Um, it, I, I wasn't expecting them to like there to be kids in the show so it was a very nice surprise and the way they were part of the show and like how they affected kind of the main characters it was a really nice mix of um yeah kind of all ages involved in the show the next category is best actress in a supporting role in a musical and while i've seen three of these shows i didn't get to see emma williams in half a sixpence her and charlie were both off the day that i saw her actually um but anyway they like no one else in this category would i want more for them to win did that sentence make sense um it's rebecca Trahan. i really really hope she gets to win sean and i were saying in the video that we did film together she's kind of like one of those not underdog people in the industry but you know she's she's put in the work and I'm so pleased for her to get this nomination and it would be an absolute joy for her to win I personally wasn't a massive fan of Showboat as a show but I did love her part in it I thought she was fantastic and I mean I'm very biased I I will admit to that but I definitely want her to win that 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 award <laughs> the next category is outstanding achievement in music which i think is a really interesting category especially with the nominations that they have this year sean and i were saying that with dream girls it's an interesting one because obviously it's not like it's the like the show is obviously new to the west end but it's not um the music isn't new it's what from I think he said 30 years ago or something like that so it's an interesting one to be nominated personally as much as i loved the music in harry potter and the cursed child i'd really like this award to go to school of rock uh, i think sean and i both agreed that it was mainly because of the kids in the show and what they do in the show to make it as amazing as it is because obviously most of them are playing the instruments as well as singing acting dancing and everything so i think it would be really special for them to win this award i'm skipping ahead a few to the uh, best entertainment best entertainment and family category um and i've only seen one of the shows in this and it wasn't like my favorite thing that i've ever seen but i personally think that because of the cast and the production value that i've heard of for this show i think cinderella at the palladium is going to win it um that's just what i'm what I think could be wrong but that's what I think in terms of best theatre choreographer I think this is a really interesting category because you've got Matthew Bourne who is like so well known for his dance as well as Drew McConey who's very similar and then an interesting one in like um who is Stephen Hoggett for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child I've personally not seen Groundhog Day um and I'm not sure if I've seen the work of the choreographers there I would like it to go to Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because I did really enjoy the choreography in the show. However, I think I think it might go to Drew McConey. But then he did get it for In the Heights, didn't he? Is it last year or the year before? Oh, that's a really hard one to guess. But then obviously Matthew Bourne as well. Oh, I don't know. I think I kind of like Harry Potter to win because I really enjoyed their choreography but it wasn't so much of like a dance heavy show, it was more choreography and little bursts. So maybe either Drew McConey or Matthew Bourne, maybe, I don't know. The next category is Magic Radio's best musical revival. Yes, best musical revival. Um, out of the ones that I saw in this category, I think, I think probably, G I didn't see Jesus Christ Superstar, but I think out of the nominations, it's probably the one to get it, but we'll see. For best actor in a musical I personally would like it to go to David Finn for School of Rock because I think his performance and his energy levels were insane but I think also maybe Tyrone Huntley for Jesus Christ Superstar might get it and I think I mean I think those two would be like sounds harsh but like the most deserving I don't know people are gonna hate me for that um but again Tyrone Huntley is one of those that 
I've heard of like working, working, working throughout all the shows and he's just one of, the, one of those people that you would like. I think I saw him in Memphis, I think, I think he was a really, really good character in that. So you know, he's just one of those people that you've seen previously and you kind of, you're rooting for them. <laughs> for best actress in a musical, um, I've only seen two of the shows nominated in this category, but when Sean and I filmed our video originally, we hadn't yet gone to see the girls, and obviously now we have, and we found it really interesting that all of the girls were nominated, and I kind of felt like, is that a bit of a cop-out, or like, I just didn't really understand that notion, and I do now, having seen the show, but still I don't think it, like they were all very good and I get that it's because it was like a collaborative effort between them all and they're all very good. Like I don't want to take the nomination away from them like as if they're not deserving of it but for this year's Olivier's there's all of the girls nominated in this show and then there's another show where all of like the ladies are nominated. So I don't know, that just seems a little bit weird, you know, because normally it's just one person nominated or one show nominated, I don't know. They're all very deserving of it, but um, maybe they will get it actually, looking at the nominations, and that would be quite fun. But then who gets the Olivier, the actual physical Olivier? That's gonna be a bit of a fight, isn't it? <laughs> For Best Revival, I've actually not seen any of these shows. I think just from what I've heard, it'll either go to The Glass Menagerie or Yerma. Um, I think maybe more The Glass Menagerie, but as I said, I've not seen these, so. I don't know, that's just a, uh, a vague guess. <laughs> I'm skipping ahead a few categories again to go to best lighting design. I've only seen one of these shows and that was Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and I did, I, I, I mean I loved most of the things about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Basically everything that they did on stage was magical, really magical. So I feel like it would be deserving of this win for the light because some of the things they do and there's a moment in part, I want to say part two, act one. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you've seen it, you'll know that when I say like on the walls, like, I mean, that moment was just bloody incredible. So I think it would be deserving of this one. For best sound design again, I've only seen Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and I did really love what they did with the sound. I mentioned in my vlog review how I loved um, the music that's by Imogen Heap. It was so like, it's ethereal, is that how you say it? Is that the right word? Like just magical and, and like simple. It wasn't like in your face magic, but it was just really subtle and beautiful and it, it, it helped the mood so much. Saying that as well though, I've heard really good things about Jesus Christ Superstar. So I think if like out of the ones that could win, I think it's Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and Jesus Christ Superstar. Again, for best costume design, I've only seen Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I'm such a broken record, I'm sorry. I think when we filmed our video before, Sean said the costumes for Dreamgirls were like incredible. I also heard that the Cinderella costumes were insane. I, again, I think I'd have to say Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because it's the only one I've seen for myself that I can like vouch for but genuinely as much as the costumes were very like simple there were some really incredible moments in the costume like literally in the first five minutes of part one act one if you've seen it again you know what I mean so yeah but I think overall they were more kind of like normal like they were lovely costumes but you know uh, I don't know maybe Cinderella let's go with Cinderella also sorry about the police siren it's London Oh my god, again, for the award for set design, I've only seen Harry Potter. Um, I've heard really good things about Aladdin's set, so, and obviously they have like a flying carpet, so maybe that might get it. Saying that though, I did love the sets for Harry Potter. I thought they were very, very cleverly done. Um, I think it's either Harry Potter or Aladdin, or it could not be. We'll find out next weekend. For best actor in a supporting role, I've not actually seen any of these performers because I had an understudy on when I saw Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I saw James, I can't remember his surname, James Lillashaw, um, so I didn't see Anthony Boyle. So that'll be a fun one to find out. For best actress in a supporting role, I'd have to go with Noma de Mazzuozzi because she was like, oh, incredible. She was such a perfect Hermione, like to a T. She, she was great, she was fantastic. And for best actor, literally I'm such a Harry Potter fan girl in this video because it's one of the, 
think it's one of the most nominated productions this year and like it's it's one of the main ones that I've seen. Um, I'd have to go with Jamie Parker of Harry Potter because his performance was genuinely so brilliant as Harry. Um, it was it was crazy to watch on stage how much of the mannerisms that he had and portrayed it was just a wonder to watch he was so good for best actress i have not seen any of these shows but i think that it will go to ruth wilson she's a phenomenal actress and i've had friends that have gone to see her in this show and just said that obviously she is superb so i personally think it'll go to her again i'm a broken record but for best director i think it'll go to john tiffany for harry potter and the cursed child so let's see <laughs> Again, for best new play, I'd have to say Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I should have just had a little recorder saying Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Then best new musical is actually quite a tough category. I've not yet seen Dreamgirls, I'm hopefully seeing it next week. Um, and I've seen School of Rock and I've seen The Girls and I didn't get around to seeing Groundhog Day. And when Sean and I first filmed this video, uh, we both, I think, I think he said Dreamgirls and I said School of Rock because School of Rock genuinely has been one of the most fun shows that I've seen this year but now having seen The Girls I really really enjoyed that. There is a vlog of our trip to see The Girls up on my channel now so it will be up here and in the description. Um, so now I think it's a really tough one. I think it's a really tough category overall. I think maybe Dreamgirls will swing the vote, maybe Groundhog because it's like different to uh, all of these shows that are in the category, maybe School of Rock because of the like amazing efforts from the whole cast, especially the children, and maybe it's the girls because just the emotion and the like the realness of it. I just, it's a really hard one to call. I think I might actually change my mind and put my support into the girls, I think. I can't wait to hear who wins that one, that's going to be a really interesting one. Well that's a quick rundown of who I think will be winning at the Olivier's this year. Please do let me know in the comments below who you think will win this year, it's going to be exciting. I don't think they're doing the Covent Garden event this year which makes me really sad, it's one of my like favourite theatre events of the year and it seems to have been scrapped so I'm really gutted, not gonna lie. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. I hope you're doing really well and I'll see you very soon. Bye.